<laughs> they all met him. Whoever thought we'd have this day where you were uh, used to be public enemy number one and here you are, one of the good guys. How's it feel? I'm a, I'm a, yeah, of course uh, you are. How's um, it feel? No, yeah, it feels great, obviously. Yeah, I've had um, I've had a few ding-dongs over the time that have come into Prickley and a few events that have happened. It is what it is in football. It's But like you say, it's it's quickly forgotten. People move on and, uh, and you get opportunities in life that you've got to grasp with both hands. So here I am. Uh, you know, it's my first sort of opportunity on the other side. Yeah. You know, Gaff has brought me in. Um, he knows what I'm, what I'm all about. He knows what I can bring to the table. Um, you know, and, and like he said, into there to, to the lads, we do things right. We do things professionally, and we'll, we'll get the lads going. The dressing room seems tight already, which is impressive. You know, it's not even the end of June. No, uh, I think you know, at non-league level, you get to see each other twice, three times a week at tops. You know, and I just said that in there to him. I said. You know, we need everyone on board. If, you, if, if everyone's pulling in the same direction and we're all willing to fight and do the extra hard yards for each other, it, football becomes easier. You know, if you've got five or six lads that want to do it, five or six lads that don't, it becomes a battle. And, you know, you, you're trying to get positive results week in, week out. And, 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 you know, if you've got everyone pulling in the same direction, everyone willing to do the hard, hard yards, the horrible side of the game, work hard for each other. If their mate's having a bad game, do the extra 10%, you yeah. know. And, and you can install that from now, from when we first walk through the door, you know, come come the come the winter when things do get tough, we're there, we're, we're ready for the battle. We know what each other's about. We know that we're going to help each other out and get the positive results. Yeah. Next Saturday, first friendly. There's going to be a, a few at Skeggy. There's going to be a few looking to put one over on you. Yeah, yeah. Well, obviously, when when I stopped playing, I, I stepped away from the game for for maybe five six months, and um, it's hard, you know. When you uh, when when all you've known is football for probably twenty seasons now since I left school, when when you pack in or you or you think you're ready to pack in and you just walk away, Saturdays have just never seemed the same. So it was like I was getting up on a Saturday morning. You've got no tracksuit to put on. You've got you know you've got nowhere to be. You, you know you've got no structure, no routine that you've always had. And I just found myself thinking, if I don't get back in soon, it becomes harder and harder to get yeah. back in because people yeah. forget your name. Yeah. You know, while you're still relevant, and while I'm still able to play 20 minutes, half an hour if needed, I can get, I can always get back in. And 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 Rollo, um, obviously, I've been good mates at Rollo since since he was at Workshop back in 2012, 13. I think he was the he was one of the um, see you later, wasn't he? he was one of the coaches there with Dave, and uh, kept in contact. And obviously, he was the assistant manager at Skeg, and he just, he, he just he was just on on to me all the time, you know. Don't need you to come in and play, but just come in and be around it. You yeah. know, you're great in the dressing room. You get the lads together, and that's what we want. Um, and I just saw it as an opportunity to get back in. Even though it was step six, the gaffer, gaffer was great there, Naif. He said, come in, work alongside us. And, uh, and yeah, we went from there and just seeing things from the other side, really. And, you know, as much as you want to still be that 25, 26, 27-year-old that's, that's scoring all the goals yeah. and, you know, being on the other side's a close second. So it was an opportunity I took, loved every minute at Skeg, it was great. Um, but football's one of the things you've got to you've got to try and better yourself. You've got to try and move forward. You know, it's 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 a levels game. So if you can you get to the best level like when you're playing, you get to the best level you can as a player. I have the same mentality with on the other side on management. Yeah. yeah. And I guess seeing it from a management point of view now. You see the nightmare that players can be. <laughs> yeah, well, week in, week you know, well. obviously it's early days for me, really, and, and you see little bits and pieces, and you see the, the different side of things. And I mean, I look back at myself, really, probably, you know, when lads are trying to negotiate what they want and, and things like that. I was probably the hardest person to negotiate with mm. because I was just horrible. Like, it was just something else. I wanted something else, and and all, lads are all the same. They always want that little bit more. Of course, they do. Yeah. And and you know, it's it's just. It's just seeing it from that side and seeing what managers have to put up with yeah. and, and how they have to balance things out and, and work things around. So, like I say, it's early days, um, but it's a learning curve. It's one that I'm looking forward to, obviously. And, and, and when we're winning, it becomes easy. Yeah. So. And a dressing room with you and Sax in it? Never going to be quiet, is it? <laughs> no, no, yeah. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> See you later, Wally. <laughs> Obviously, Sax has been around for many years, like myself, different clubs. Never come across him before. Um, heard many good reports about him, and, and, and you know, lads saying that me and Sax would be, uh, be great to have about. Um, 
and we are. You know, we we bounce off each other, and like you said, like I said earlier, you need you, you need to have these characters around because they're a dying they're a dying breed yeah. in football. Yeah. You, you know, you speak to you speak to players now, and it's like you're talking to a robot. Mm. 